change. We will never change. We never change. <coughs> because the change is happening in ourselves, not in the assembly. You see, and the people don't want that. And it's painful. It's painful because every time you will see, oh, I miss, I, I miss it. I miss it. We, we may cry for some reason because something, um, you know, happened in our challenge, giants in life. We may cry for that, but this cry deserves us for us to grow. Yeah, yeah. For something. And the fact to come and to realize that we, we have missed it, you know, in different ways. In our growth, we will see step by step, oh, in this step I was not able. So I will change it. And in this process, it's painful. And, oh, I go for a new step. And again, oh, that I have to remove. And it is about the character, it is about the behavior, it is about the words, it is about many things that we have to change in order to become more and more in the image of Yeshua. That is our goal. That is our race. That is our race, to become more and more like Him. But who want to do that? No. They prefer to talk about the others, you know, about the others, and to talk about themselves. Yeah. Yeah, to yeah. put the mirror and to say, okay, look, well, man, that is you. That is you. Yeah. Doesn't like yeah. to speak. So, darling, you know, it's very amazing to me, but to uh, discuss with brethren. But we will not change our ways of fellowship. Because I know that's it the right. You know what? Why it came so in my life, you know, to be to, to see the things this way. Because I come from I come from the assembly, the Sengeka was a big assembly, you know. It's nice in a big assembly. Yeah. Because you have many brethren, and you know, you have fellowship, you have uh, But you you, you 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 are like so, but myself when I was seeking, when I was still in a Catholic, I always want to sit in the front because I want to listen because yeah. sometimes you Something inside is is not um you know it's not full, so it's yeah. still have it's still empty. So when I come to the always in the front, I like to sit in the front. It is something good that you can feel your inside, mm. you know, full. But when it comes to Christianity, I like the all this um you know music, you know the worship team. Then after that, the of course there's a teaching. They always teach about. Christ, Christ, the blessing, the blessing, you know, material blessing, you know, prosperity like that. Yeah. This is what we, te we teach there. It's a big assembly there in Cebu, of course. So, still something inside because I, I'd like to have this, um, you know, gathering, we call it, um, um, in, the, in, the, in the Wednesday like that, we do in, in the house to gather together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cell, group. cell group. I like this one. Yeah. I go there. Yeah. But it's nice, you know, just to, to talk okay, about yeah. the word. Yes, yes, yes. So... It was the same for me. It was the same for me. But uh, the problem is, uh, if you are honest, you will see that there is a problem with that. Because on the other side, it is another plan. And, uh, there was no other alternative for me to go from the other, because for me, I was already satisfied there. Until the day that we... we, we we had um, contact to one another. It was changed because of your view, like um, about Moshi, about Torah, like that. Yeah. So it was changed. It was different. It was new to me. So when, until you came in the in Cebu, then we, we keep the Shabbat in the house, like that. See, but I, I like it. In spite I was yeah, yeah. sleepy. It, it, may be, it may be strange, but uh, uh, it is what it feels. The, the, the inside. The yeah, the inside. The month, it changed. You know, it's really funny because in my former friends, my former friends, they always say, oh, <coughs> Daniel has always something new, you know. When I, when I stopped to smoke, 30 years ago, when I spoke to smoke, all they say, Daniel, you know, he spoke. We will see in one month, in one month, we will see. But after that, they forgot what they say. But 30 years later, I did not smoke. I did not smoke. It is 30 years. When I turn to the Torah, it's the same. People think, oh, you know, it is a new thing, it will change. But I keep going. 17 years later, I'm still going this way. You see, people forget. What is important is what you decide. What you decide is your heart. And this is what I told you in the beginning of the The Torah will be the cement in our life. Because I am like you, I am a human being. If we don't have the Torah, if we are not in agreement with the Torah, and we always keep the cement, then 
one day we will have discrepancy. Then one day, because the Torah is a cement of life, if we have the Torah, we will not look at uh, what I think, what I think, but what the Torah tells us to do. You understand? We don't love one another because we are better than others. The love we come, it come from Elohim. The love, the love of Elohim is to write in our heart. It is what the, what the, the rabbi said. Remember, when you decide to love somebody, you decide to invest in the person. To invest in the person. That's your true love. Yeah, time. You know, in this time. time. Time, prayer. Prayer. Uh, it can be financial, but it's not only financial. It can be financial, but not only financial. No, not always financial. That is the real love. That is the real love. All the others, I love you. Oh, Spend time Thank together, you, you know. <coughs> yeah. yeah. This is how yeah. we... Choosing, choosing the best <coughs> for the one you say, I love you. You know, even if it uh, it is bring a change in your life, you will accept it. You know. Yeah, because love yeah. will tell you the truth, yeah. and not that you try to 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 rub your back. Oh, you're okay to to others. Like that. You're okay to yourself. But That's on the other side, the people look at you differently. Come. So it's not love. It's a hypocrite. I will teach you Hebrew. I will teach you. Just to be nice with oh, that. With you. Be nice. You, you teach Hebrew. Oh, wonderful. It's nice to know Hebrew. It's nice. But if you have no change in your life, what does the Hebrew bring to you? Nothing. Nothing. It's just, it's just intellectual. They have been in Jew, speak Hebrew, they speak Hebrew since their youth. They have been raised in the Hebrew way, they are secular. Yeah. Huh? What brings that the Hebrew in their life? You understand? If there is no obedience. Yes. Is obedience yes. to the will of Elohim. Yes. You want to know big doctrines? What brings the doctrine to you? You want to fight on the name? What does he bring to you? What do you mean to your life?